Hello friends. It was a big day for our family. We've been working on the yurt and some of you requested that we put together some footage of the yurt building and we are trying to do that. We'll see how it all comes out but hopefully you'll be able to watch us as we put the yurt up and make it into a space for our family again. Boy, that will be something else to have the yurt back into our life. Now, a couple of videos back, I did a video on Frank Herbert's Dune and the Fremen people and part of their mind training. And I'm going to do one more video on the Dune book. We're finished with it now. And uh, there's basically these two things that we have been practicing out of it that I wanted to share with you. And this, the second one is not something that was new to us, but just hearing about it and seeing it used so often in the book helped us to feel more inspired to making it a daily part of our life. And this is a really powerful tool. In the story, there is a religious spiritual group called the Bene Gesserit, and it's mostly a female group, um, but they are very strong into awareness training and body-mind training. So in the book throughout, you see the protagonist and his mother, who are both trained in this method, using a, a calming breath. And this can seem like not much, okay, a calming breath. We've all heard that taking a deep breath ah, calms your system a little bit. And basically what it does is it gets us out of the sympathetic nervous system and into the parasympathetic nervous system. And it does it a little bit, but if most of you have tried it, and you're, let's say, going to give a speech, and you try some deep breaths, it is effective, but maybe minimally effective. Now this calming breath is something else entirely, or it's taking that basic deep breath and putting it on steroids so that it becomes extremely powerful. And it's something that I used, well, I use it actually a lot, but I found myself using it when I was being the celebrant at my grandparents' uh, funeral. And there were times, especially when I was sitting back listening to other people talk, and I was soon going to have to get up to speak again. And hearing other people's stories created a lot of emotion. But I did want to have coherent words when I spoke to people. So I would take one of these calming breaths, and it just soothes the entire system. It takes the mind out of whatever train is driving it, whatever cycle it's on, and gives you a reset switch into your base, your foundation of calmness. Now that foundation of calmness is something that we all are developing in our life if you have a mindfulness practice of any sort. And as you meditate more and practice mindfulness more, that base that foundation of calm will get not only stronger, but deeper. So I think of it almost as, as a lower so that you are more calm, more relaxed, even if there's a lot of chaos or a lot of emotion or whatever coming in around you. I've used this calming breath when I'm going into a tense situation where there may be some people that are being a little bit aggressive or something. I will use this calming breath if I am interacting with my daughters and I start to feel that I am going to go into reaction mode. I'll use this calming breath at night if my mind is going and starting to think about something. Last night I was trying to put together all the the engineering for the yurt and figure everything out. And I knew I could figure that out in the morning so I could use this calming breath, reset, and get myself back into a sleep mode. 
many uses for this calming breath, and I'm going to share with you how to do it right now. The calming breath is basically getting yourself into a meditative state. Now, often we think of a meditative state as what we do when we're on a cushion and maybe our eyes are, are crossed or <laughs> whatever it is. But a meditative state is a super functional state that we can be in at any time. So right now, I can be in a meditative state where I am aware of my surroundings. I'm allowing my words to just flow freely without having to think about them a lot or to pre-plan. And I'm aware of my body and I'm consciously here with you. That's a meditative state that I'm in right now. And that comes from a lot of practice of meditation and mindfulness. Now, I'm not always in a meditative state, but I can go there pretty quickly these days. And that is where this calming breath is awesome training. When I sit down to meditate, there's going to be a period of time before my mind goes into what we'd call a meditative state. Now, if I was hooked up, we might actually see the brain waves change. But what we're looking for, if you don't have the ability to be hooked up to biofeedback, is a feeling of relaxedness and a feeling of awareness. So this is not a tired relaxedness. This is a poised, aware relaxedness. If you're a meditator, you practice mindfulness, you probably know when you're in this state. If you have never experienced it before, if you sit down and try to meditate for a while, you may feel it a little bit. If your mind is really revved up, it may take some weeks of meditation practice before you experience that. But when you do, that first time that you feel that meditative state of mind, it is addictive. It's wonderful. You feel a great weight lift off of you. That weight is the constant effort of our mind churning and thinking and going over scenarios. You feel an awareness, an open awareness that feels good. It's probably what our ancestors felt most of the time, walking through nature, aware of their surroundings. It feels right. When we feel that, we're in what I'm calling the meditative state. There are a lot of levels of meditative state, but we're just after that feeling of relaxed awareness. Now, once you've felt that, then you can start working on making that happen earlier and earlier in your meditation. And a little trick that I've used with Mirabelle when she sits down to meditate with me is I say, let's try within three breaths to get into our meditative state. And putting that constraint on it, that three breath constraint, has kind of worked magic, and it may work magic for you as well. So sit down to meditate, and you see this doesn't take long. See within three breaths if you can bring yourself into a state of calm relaxedness. The reason this can be kind of magical and it can happen for us even if you've tried meditating before and your mind just churns, is you, you're just trying to kind of get to three breaths, get to that state, and then not really caring what happens at four or five. It sets us up mentally differently than when we say, I'm going to sit down and meditate for 15 minutes. Whoa, that seems like a long time. And my mind just goes, oh, can I do it that long? Instead, here... We're just saying, within three breaths, can I achieve this goal of getting into a meditative state? Once we're able to do that, we back it up to two breaths. And then we start to see if we can do it in one breath. Then we phase it into our one breath meditation. You've probably heard about this. It's something that Rebecca and I invented a while back. Although probably it was done by many people before us. But as far as we know, we invented it. 
that one breath meditation, you're going to try to get into a meditative state in a single breath. And then if you want, you can do another breath. No requirement. If you do, if you want, you can do another breath after that. And again, you're setting yourself up for only about a, let's say, 15 second meditation. The time it takes you to breathe in and breathe out. That's achievable for most of us. And as we practice that one breath meditation, combining it with sitting down and just trying to get to three breaths, then two breaths, then one, we start to train ourselves to get into a meditative state very quickly. And that's where the benefit of this calming breath comes in. Because after I've taught myself to do that, then when I am driving along, and you see a car accident, you see there's some blood, you stop your car, you take the 10 seconds it takes. You take that calming breath, you've reset your mind, you're out of panic mode, and you can deal with the situation completely differently than if you see it, ah, 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 and you get all worked up, and then you pull over, and you get out there. What's going on? What happened? So different. Taking that 10 seconds, 15 seconds, to take a calming breath. This is a really powerful technique, you guys. And if you train your mind into it, you will have this awesome tool that you can use anytime. When, boom, everything's going crazy, you, in 10 seconds... 15 seconds can bring yourself at least close to your state of foundational calm and awareness. One little trick that helps me with this, and I'm not sure if it'll be useful for you, this is not something that I've spoken to other people about or tried with other people. So usually what I'm sharing are things that I've taught at Rewild You or shared with other people and I know that they work for a large amount of people. So this technique of breathing is something that I do. I can really feel it. You can try it if you want. It's kind of a little bonus here. So when I breathe in for my calming breath, I'm gonna breathe into my belly, let my chest expand, and then I take another 10, 15% more air in and I think of it coming into this area and then I release it all so I fill here mostly let's say that takes five seven seconds and then take another two seconds to fill the top I do not do this in a way that creates any tension so the idea is not to try to fill yourself up and create tension just enough so you feel filled. And what I feel when I do this is almost something in my nasal passages and my sinuses, kind of a, a coolness, almost akin to if you had Tiger Balm or Vicks Vapor Rub or something, and you get a bit of coolness from that menthol. That's similar to, not exactly at all, but very similar to, slightly similar to <laughs> the sensation I get when I take that full breath. And when I get that sensation, I know that my mind has been going into, it's going into that calming state. Um, I kind of learned this from doing a, a biofeedback and I'd find that things would change, my brain state would be changing when I felt that sensation. Not sure if that makes any sense. If you want to try it out and pay attention to that, maybe it will work for you as well. But the real meat here is teaching yourself that calming breath through the three, two, one method and through the one breath meditation method. Getting good at it. It's a, again, a really powerful and really good skill to develop once you have it and you use it on a regular basis, it's always going to be there for you. My friends, I hope you find this useful and ask any questions you want if I can help you with getting it. 
and share any quick meditation methods that you use in your life to calm yourself down when things are getting tense around you. All right, love to you all. Cannot wait to see what you have to say in the comments. Thank you.